For the first time ever, the sport of bowling will be featured in the upcoming Summer Olympic Games as an exhibition sport. In the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, bowling was tested as an exhibition sport. After those games, the idea seemed to disappear. Since then, it hasn't been shown or considered in the Olympic Games. The Pro Bowling Association's ratings quickly plummeted after the 1980s, causing it to fall off the radar. Around the mid-2000s, the topic began stirring again. The PBA had fresh new faces. Bowlers like Jason Belmani, Kelly Kulik, Wes Malott, Bill O'Neill, and Chris Barnes were on the rise, drawing attention to the PBA. People started talking, once again, about bowling. And this brings to the table the burning question that lots of people were and are still conflicted about. Is bowling a sport? And should it be respected with higher recognition? I do consider bowling a sport because it involves a lot of skill and physical activity. I consider bowling a sport. I do think bowling is a sport because you have to know like the technical things that go into it and there's a lot more than meets the eye. I think so too just because like it's competitive and you're going up against other people and that's kind of the definition of a sport. I consider bowling a sport because it actually takes, it's something that usually takes skill. It's not just something someone can think of. I would consider it an activity. Yes, bowling is considered a sport because there's competitive play and people do it and they try to compete against each other. Yes, because there's a lot of different things you have to take into factor. So like you have to hit a very small target down lane, you have to do the same thing every time. You have to be very consistent. So yes, it is a sport. Yes, I'm not sure why anybody would not consider bowling a sport. I do consider bowling a sport because there's competitiveness. Yes, I do consider bowling to be a sport, and I believe it to be so uh, because it's competitive. People use technique and strategy, uh, and there's a goal. You want to try to get 300. I think there is because with competitive, there are a lot of technical things that go into it, and recreational is more of like doing it for fun, where you're just kind of not really thinking about the complicated side yeah. of things. You just go with your friends and like enjoy, but then like competitive, like you have to get in the mindset and be able to like do your best and like be under pressure. I think there is a difference between recreational and competitive bowling because recreationally, you're just doing it for fun, but competitively, there's a lot on the line. Yes, there is a difference between the two. Um, Competitive bowlers obviously are in like leagues and um, really love the, the game. Uh, whereas recreational, it's like, let's get together with a group of six people and go bowling for something to do. I would assume there's a difference, but um, you know, just like everything else, one you do for fun, one you do to compete and win. A majority of people will only see the recreational side of bowling. Whether it's going out with friends or family once or twice a year to bowling a once a month couples league, what people don't see is the determination and hard work put in by the pros. Starting in 2019, the Go Bowling PBA Tour signed a multi-year, multi-platform deal with Fox Sports. It was a great opportunity for the sport to be projected to a bigger audience. Before coming to Fox, the PBA was aired on ESPN, but not often. Now with a new contract, tournaments are broadcasted live every week during the bowling season, making it far more regular. Mental game affects your bowling. If you're not in the right frame of mind to focus, your bowling is going nowhere. If, and if you're thinking about other things, you can actually end up hurting yourself, not to mention other people. If you're not in the right mindset to win a game, you're probably not going to win the game. You have to make sure you're in the positive mindset because if you are in the wrong mindset, you're going to miss a shot, you're going to be too frustrated, you're going to be missing simple targets. Mental game, you really want to be there to bowl well. You have to have a good mindset going into it because if you have like, like, oh, I'm going to miss this, you're, gonna, you're not going to do good. Right, like it's all in your personal confidence. Yes. I talk to my bowlers a lot about not letting their emotions control their bowling. And so sometimes, you know, they'll miss a shot, they'll, do, they'll, they'll have a bad roll, and they get so angry that it ruins the rolls for the next four frames. Um, so we teach them how to be mentally strong and understand that when you have a bad roll, you put it behind you, you move on, 
and you do better on the next roll. Bowling is a very technical game. When you're competing at a higher level, a lot of factors come into play. Physically, you need to have stamina for a lot of games at once. Professional bowlers may roll 10 to 20 or more games a day, competing in or qualifying for a tournament. Endurance, pacing, and eating slash drinking nourishing foods is key. A lot of the acceleration from your bowling approach will take place in your legs, and especially your knees. Upper body and lower body strength are both important when bowling. Mental game also plays a huge factor. Being in the right mindset can be difficult when you're trying to calculate and decipher moves and changes throughout your game. I think oil does matter because it affects the trajectory of your ball and where it's going is where it's going to hit. Yeah, the oil on the lane should matter. Um, it'll affect the way the ball moves over the lane. So if there's no oil, it's not going to move well. If there's too much, then you're going to have one oily ball. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm assuming yes. Do you know why? Oh, um, well, I'm guessing it changes kind of like the speed, the speed of the ball and like kind of the control too when you throw it. Yeah. Like Oil is really important because of the physics when the ball is thrown is really important how you can aim. To be honest, I'm on a monthly bowling league, but it's only recreational. And I'm sure that the oil does mean something because people on my league complain about it. Um, I don't really care. Um, I would assume more oil would make it slicker. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, the oil in lane matters because when it gets dried up, it starts hooking a lot more, so you have to change your speed, you have to change your mark that you're throwing it in, and it can change the way your ball's reacting on the lane. Oil on the lane does matter, and it, it does depend on what you're throwing, how you're throwing. Um, if you're a beginning bowler, or if you are an experienced bowler, what kind of ball you have, uh, it's going to make a difference in your bowling. The oil in the lane matters to people who hook the ball. The more oil that there is on the lane, the less your ball will hook. And certain oil patterns will allow your ball to hook more in certain places than other on the lane. But for the common bowler who throws the ball straight, it doesn't matter much at all. The oil on the lane matters more than almost everything. Because that's how you get your ball into a skin to store energy so that it breaks, in other words, it hooks into the pocket. And so the conditions of the oil are what we battle in our sport of bowling all the time. So as the oil gets pushed down lane or the lane starts to dry out from the other bowlers, we have to manage uh, different bowling balls, different shots, different movements in order to combat it. So uh, it plays a huge part in the game. Bowling involves a lot more than meets the eye. It is a very physically and mentally draining game. While bowling competitively, there are lots of factors to take into consideration. The oil on the lane, the ball you are using, and the adjustments you can make. And that's not all. Once you break the surface, it is very complex. Enough so to consider it a sport, and possibly in the near future an Olympic sport.